Hey, C to B, this your girl, Angel E. I am, I'm not going to tell you where I am, but right now I have Mr. Charlie Wilson, Charlie, last name Wilson, Uncle Charlie. You're going to be my Uncle Charlie? Yeah, I'm, I'm your Uncle Charlie. See, I, I, I already got a new uncle already. We're going to ask him about the new CD he got out. You had a new CD that came out in February, right? Yes. Um, yes. Well, tell us a little bit about that. Uncle Charlie is um, a project that I I wanted to work on uh, er, a lot earlier. Uh, I wanted to do it right after Charlie last name Wilson, okay. um, but it took like about four years. Um, what I did was I toured after uh, doing the Charlie last name Wilson project because what I was trying to do was to uh, f uh, f familiarize myself with um, uh, what other fans and and some of the f some other fans and my 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 diehard fans mm -hmm. as well. And what w the problem was is that a lot of people, when they heard Charlie Wilson, didn't know who he was. So the right. kids knew me as Charlie last name Wilson, right. but uh, I was caught between the fence, the young school and the old school, new school and old school. And um, the old, older fans were uh, was a bit confused. They didn't know uh, was he bringing the Gap Band with him. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't know. You know. So it took it took a couple of years for right. me to to go go around a few times to. Um, to uh, gather up all my older fans and, and let them trust me, okay. um, and so so when I started the project Uncle Charlie, <clears throat> I just simply again wanted to let everybody know that I'm America's favorite uncle, and <laughs> I started um, with songs uh, that I could capture uh, my demographic, my, my my older fans, the the diehard fans, and still have something good, uh, good enough for uh, for the new school as well. So okay. that's how Uncle Charlie came about. <laughs> Okay, while we're talking about the old generation, mm -hmm. the new mm -hmm. generation, yeah. I understand you're being honored at the um, Soul Train Awards, right, for Icon Awards. Uh, Charlie was, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about, I guess, our generation, the younger mm -hmm. generation, acknowledging you now and kind of bringing in that image from the Gap Man Awards and you being an individual um, artist now? Ask that question one more time. Say it again. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess what I'm trying to say is now that you're being acknowledged for the Icon Award with mm -hmm. our generation yes. now acknowledging you, mm -hmm. how do you feel, um, I guess, coming from that older generation with the Gap Band mm -hmm. to now with us, people my age, because mm -hmm. I'm 24, uh -huh. and I listen to you? Yeah. So how does that feel? Well, it, it's it's an amazing feeling. It's been a great journey for me, and it's, and um, and I was truly honored and, and very moved by uh, Centric, BT, VH1, all of them uh, together just honor me as a, as a, being an icon, and it was just it's great, and and I think it's uh, was way overdue, for as I'm concerned, I should have been smelling these roses a long time ago. <laughs> but however, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's just I'm the one that's proven that I can cross uh, and, and cross generations and and still be relevant. Okay. So I, I was deeply moved by it, and um, I, I I wish my brothers were there to to. to uh, to feel the same thing I was feeling, and uh, uh, but hey, I had a good time, and uh, and and I and I enjoy bridging the gap. This is what I, I'm I'm enjoying right now. I'm bridging the gap. Young, new school, mm -hmm. old school. Everybody's feeling Uncle Charlie. <laughs> Some of them say, I, "What what am I taking?" I told them I'm drinking water. <laughs> so so the oldest old old school is looking for this this miracle water that I'm supposed to be drinking, because a lot of them can't do jumping jacks right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing 90 minutes of tempo uh, stage, so I, I don't know what's, what they what they on, you know. <laughs> they need to quit eating a lot of fat foods and uh, come on right, come on back, you know. Well, see, I'll take that as a lesson learned because yeah. I eat a lot of fat foods. Oh, food yeah, you too. need to come on for that. Don't look like it, though. Don't look like it. Well, I'm glad. Come on, Angie, Angie, Angie. Yeah. Niece Angie got it going. Okay, you got it. <laughs> don't start on that. I got two, y'all, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but while we on the subject of mm -hmm. Uncle Charlie, mm -hmm. I heard you got that name from Snoop Dogg, right? Right. And you guys have a personal relationship because mm -hmm. I saw him in your video. Um, what was that video? Him and his wife was there in There goes my baby. There goes my baby, yeah. right? Tell us a little bit about why you chose <coughs> them to be in that video. Well, one, Snoop was at my ranch doing a, a reality show. It was uh, f Snoop's father, mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg's fatherhood. So the, f the, the, uh, the finale of that episode, was uh well the, sh the last scene, last right. uh, episode they shot at my ranch and and what it was is <coughs> excuse me is that everybody Sh Shante and everybody thought Snoop made everybody think that it was my my wife and I's uh -huh. anniversary okay so um, oh, yeah. yeah so you got that. it and um, <laughs> <laughs> so we were surprised surprised in um, uh, Shantae. yeah and so Snoop can renew his vows with her. 
was that was kind of cute, you know. It was. <clears throat> yeah. So what we did was we took some of the footage because I debuted that song mm-hmm. "That Goes My Baby" that that night. Okay. At the uh, at the party. Oh, at the party. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> when I got up to sing it, you know. I was like, yo, Snoop, I got this song. Because I was supposed to be singing another song. So he was all frowning up like, what the hell is Uncle Charlie <laughs> doing, right? So I was like, I got this song about to sing. And, you know, you probably met your girl like this. So I started it. He was all looking like, you know. And then when I started singing, I was rolling in my car. When oh, I pulled man. up at the mall, couldn't find a place to park. Threw my keys to the valley. See, and, boy, he just said, <laughs> <"Hey."> <laughs> like, oh, Uncle Charlie, man. <laughs> so it was cool. And we uh, <clears throat> and so from then... It was some people at my uh, from my record record label. Jai was there, and she's like, "Say you doing this album? Why come we ain't heard this record? Right. You know where this record at?" So I said, "I I um I said I played the record for you for the label, and they said they didn't like the record. So they was like, "What? Who said they like?" So I was like, "I don't want to make it say who it yeah. was, but uh, uh yeah, they was like uh they didn't like the record, and so anyway, they put another couple records out, and it wasn't working. So you know, I just said, "Hey, put this record out, and and the record took off, and." And it's yeah, a, you know, a smash record. Yeah, I have to listen to Uncle Charlie. Now it's number one, right? Yeah, yeah. For ten weeks, it was number one. And now you have another single out. Can't live without you. So where is all this coming from? You gotta. Well, you know. Lady friend, wife. You know, I <laughs> 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 do I have a what? Lady friend, wife. Yeah, yeah. My my something. wife is right there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Oh, her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, I ain't gonna start no stuff. <laughs> See, this is my song. Father sitting right there. Okay, okay. That's your baby daddy. That's all it is. <laughs> baby daddy, that's the ba- baby daddy baby right there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay now, so I, wanted, I want one more question. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you had a lot of collaborations. Well, not a lot, but you mm-hmm. had Justin Timberlake, yeah, Snoop Dogg, yeah, for real. Right. Do mm-hmm. you have any collaborations on this new album that's coming? Not, not, not this uh, not this particular album was collaborations other than Snoop, but um, yeah, Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Jamie Foxx was on this album, and... Uh, and I think that was it for for collaboration on this album. However, you know, I, j- I did um, uh, uh, download with Lil Kim oh, and yeah, Lil yeah. Kim and uh, and T Pain, and um, so it's uh, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go get that. Yeah, so everybody was like, <clears throat> how? See, I I had T Pain on my f- on my first album. Mm-hmm. So did nobody know who T Pain was then? You oh, see what I'm okay. saying? So T Pain wrote a song for me, and and put we put Snoop on it, but but then nobody know T Pain was. So four years later, yeah. T Pain done blew up so much. So when I asked him to get on this record, it was like, why you with T Pain? I was like, he was on the first album. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> Jesus, make your mind up, man. <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, so I sort of like started T Pain. See that? <laughs> We're gonna give him the credit right now. Instead of be safe, but y'all didn't know that he started T Pain. Yeah, I gave T Pain his first look. You know. Yeah. And so, but it's cool. Yeah. All right, City mm-hmm. Beach, I heard it from my new Uncle Charlie. I didn't got yeah. me a new uncle. Down.